Hey everyone, it's Graham Stephan, and let's talk about saving money. We all love to save, right? Today we're diving into a simple yet often overlooked way to boost your bank account, unsubscribing. The average person spends hundreds, even thousands of dollars each year on subscriptions they barely use. That's money that could be going towards your goals like buying a house, investing, or even just having some extra breathing room in your budget. These small recurring charges can add up to a significant drain on your finances without you even realizing it. Think about it. That streaming service you haven't opened in months, the gym membership gathering dust, or those subscription boxes piling up in your closet, they're all costing you money. Studies have shown that a significant percentage of people underestimate their monthly subscription expenses. We often forget about the smaller recurring charges and they slip our minds. But when you add them all up, the total can be staggering. By dedicating just a little bit of time to auditing your subscriptions, you can identify areas where you're overspending and start saving money immediately. This isn't about depriving yourself, it's about being mindful of your spending and making sure your hard-earned money is working for you, not against you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a simple step-by-step -step process for auditing your subscriptions and cutting unnecessary costs. So, are you ready to take control of your finances and start saving money today? Let's get started. Managing your subscriptions isn't just about saving a few bucks here and there, it's about taking control of your financial well-being. When you're in the driver's seat of your finances, you have the power to make choices that align with your goals and priorities. Think of it like this. Every dollar you save on unnecessary subscriptions is a dollar you can put towards something that truly matters to you. It could be your down payment on a house, a much needed vacation, or even just the peace of mind that comes with having a healthy emergency fund. By being mindful of your subscriptions, you're essentially giving yourself a financial raise. It's easy to underestimate the impact of forgotten subscriptions. We often sign up for free trials or introductory offers with the best of intentions, only to forget about them when the paid period kicks in. These small recurring charges might not seem like much individually, but they can add up to a significant amount over time. Imagine paying $10 here, $15 there for services you barely use. It all adds up. Forgotten subscriptions can also clutter up our inboxes, credit card statements, and even our physical spaces. You might be surprised to hear how much people have saved simply by auditing their subscriptions. One viewer shared how they discovered they were paying for three different streaming services simultaneously, even though they only used one regularly. By canceling the other two, they saved over $30 per month. Another viewer realized they were still paying for a gym membership they hadn't used in over a year. Canceling that membership put an extra $50 back in their pocket each month. These are just a couple of examples of the real-life impact that auditing your subscriptions can have. All right, let's roll up our sleeves and dive into the nitty-gritty of auditing your subscriptions. First things first, gather your trusty tools. Just grab your computer or smartphone, your most recent bank statements, and a notebook or a spreadsheet to jot down your findings. Having your bank statements handy is crucial for this exercise. They hold the key to uncovering those sneaky recurring charges that often go unnoticed. Once you have everything you need, find a comfortable spot where you can focus for a bit. Section 2. Unveiling your subscription landscape. Now comes the fun part. Identifying all your active subscriptions. Start by scrutinizing your bank statements. Look for any recurring charges, especially those you might not immediately recognize. Make a note of every single one you find, no matter how small. Next, check your email inbox for subscription confirmations or welcome messages. Often, these emails contain links to manage your account settings, including cancellation options. Finally, don't forget to check your smartphone's app store for any active subscriptions. Section 3. The Great Subscription Categorization now that you have a comprehensive list of your active subscriptions, it's time to categorize them. Create categories that make sense to you. 
For example, you could have categories like entertainment, productivity, health and fitness, education, and so on. This exercise is all about gaining clarity on your spending and identifying areas where you can potentially cut back. Section 4. The Need It, Use It, Love It Challenge Now comes the crucial part, deciding which subscriptions to keep and which ones to cancel. Ask yourself the following questions for each subscription. Do I need this subscription? Is it essential for my work, education, or daily life? Do I use this subscription regularly? Do I love this subscription? Does it bring me joy, value, or convenience? If you answered no to any of these questions, it's a strong indication that the subscription might be a good candidate for cancellation. Now that you've identified your active subscriptions, it's time to delve into your bank statements and see how much these subscriptions are actually costing you. This is often an eye-opening experience. Open up your bank's website or app and navigate to your statement history. You're looking for those recurring charges with the names of the subscriptions you identified earlier. As you go through each charge, write down the amount and the subscription's name in your notebook or spreadsheet. This will give you a clear picture of how much you're spending each month on these services. Don't be surprised if you find some forgotten subscriptions lurking in the shadows. The important thing is that you're taking control now and making informed decisions about your money. Canceling subscriptions should be as easy as signing up for them, right? Well, it's not always that straightforward. Some companies make it surprisingly tricky to cancel, hoping you'll give up and keep paying. The first step is to find the cancellation button. It might be hiding in plain sight within your account settings or buried deep within the website's labyrinthine menus. If you're having trouble finding the cancellation option, don't hesitate to reach out to the company's customer service for assistance. Canceling subscriptions can sometimes feel like navigating a choose-your-own-adventure book with confusing instructions. That's where screenshots and visual guides come in handy. As you go through the cancellation process for each subscription, take screenshots of each step. This will create a visual breadcrumb trail that you can refer back to if needed. You can also find helpful visual guides and tutorials online. By arming yourself with the right information and tools, you can confidently cancel unwanted subscriptions and reclaim control of your hard-earned money. Section 4. Mastering the Art of Cancellation Let's face it, canceling subscriptions can sometimes feel like an emotional roller coaster. You might encounter guilt trips, tempting offers to stay, or even passive-aggressive confirmation messages. But stay strong. Remember why you're doing this to take control of your finances and achieve your financial goals. Don't be afraid to be firm and assertive when canceling. You have the right to cancel any subscription that no longer serves you. The important thing is that you're making conscious choices about your spending. Section 1. Outsmarting Auto Renewals, The Reminder Revolution We've all been there. That sinking feeling when you realize you've been automatically charged for another year of a subscription you barely use. Auto renewals can be sneaky, but we're going to outsmart them with the power of reminders. Think of your calendar as your financial best friend. As soon as you sign up for any subscription, immediately add a renewal reminder to your calendar. Set it for a few weeks before the renewal date to give yourself ample time to decide whether to continue or cancel. Section 2. The Art of Negotiation Scoring Deals on Subscriptions Believe it or not, you can negotiate with service providers to get better rates on your subscriptions. Start by doing your research. Check out competitor pricing and look for promotional offers. When you're ready to negotiate, be polite but firm. Explain that you're a loyal customer and you're considering canceling due to the price. You might be surprised by how often companies are willing to work with you to keep your business. Section 3. Budgeting Apps – Your Secret Weapon for Taming Subscriptions In the digital age, there's an app for everything, including managing your subscriptions like a pro. Budgeting apps are your secret weapon for tracking expenses, setting spending limits, and staying on top of your financial game. These apps connect to your bank accounts and credit cards, automatically categorizing your transactions and providing a clear view of where your money is going. 
Experiment with a few different ones to find the one that best suits your needs and helps you tame those subscriptions once and for all. Section 4. Taking Control. One subscription at a time. Remember, managing your subscriptions isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making conscious choices that align with your financial goals. By implementing the strategies we've discussed, from setting reminders to negotiating better rates and using budgeting apps, you can take control of your subscriptions and free up more money to pursue your dreams. So, go forth and conquer those subscriptions. Section 1. Conquering Cancellation. Roadblocks, persistence is key. We've all been there. You're ready to cancel a subscription, but the company seems determined to make the process as difficult as possible. You encounter confusing menus, dead-end links, and maybe even a few guilt-inducing pop-ups. Don't let these roadblocks discourage you. Remember, you have the right to cancel any service you're no longer using. If you're struggling to cancel online, don't hesitate to pick up the phone and call the company directly. Be polite but firm in your request, and don't be afraid to ask for confirmation in writing once the cancellation is complete. Section 2. Unauthorized Charges – Fighting Back Against Sneaky Fees Discovering unauthorized charges on your bank statement can be incredibly frustrating. It's essential to address these situations promptly and assertively to protect your finances and prevent future unauthorized charges. If you notice a charge you don't recognize, contact the merchant immediately. If the merchant is unable to resolve the issue, contact your bank or credit card issuer to dispute the charge. Most banks and credit card companies have dedicated teams to handle fraudulent or unauthorized transactions. They will investigate the matter and work to reverse the charges if they're deemed illegitimate. Section 3. Unmasking Hidden Subscriptions – Unveiling the Invisible Sometimes the sneakiest subscriptions are the ones we don't even know we're paying for. These hidden charges can lurk in our bank statements disguised as generic fees or recurring payments with vague descriptions. To unmask these invisible subscriptions, scrutinize your bank statements with a keen eye. Look for any recurring charges that seem unfamiliar or lack clear descriptions. Once you've identified potential hidden subscriptions, contact your bank or credit card issuer for clarification. They can provide more details about the merchant and help you determine the source of the charge. The more vigilant you are about monitoring your finances, the less likely you are to fall victim to hidden subscriptions or unauthorized charges. Section 4. Empowering Yourself Taking Charge of Your Financial Well-Being Auditing your subscriptions is just one step towards achieving financial wellness, but it's an important one. By taking control of your recurring expenses, you're not only saving money, but also cultivating mindful spending habits that will serve you well in all areas of your financial life. Remember, financial wellness is a journey, not a destination. It's about making conscious choices, setting goals, and taking action to create a secure and fulfilling financial future. So go forth, armed with the knowledge and tools to master your subscriptions and unlock a world of financial possibilities. Reap the rewards. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of this journey. Identify sneaky recurring charges, cancel unwanted services, and negotiate better rates. Take control of your hard-earned money, reclaim that money, and put it towards what matters. Imagine paying off debt faster, building an emergency fund, or booking that dream vacation. Take control of your subscriptions and shape your financial future. Section 2. Join the movement. Embrace financial freedom together. You're not alone on this journey. Millions of people are taking control of their finances by auditing their subscriptions and embracing a more mindful approach to spending. Share your experiences in the comments below. How much did you save by auditing your subscriptions? What tips or challenges did you encounter along the way? Your story might inspire someone else to take action and start their own journey to financial freedom. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more finance tips, tricks, and strategies to help you build a brighter financial future. I'm here to support you every step of the way. Remember, financial freedom is not a destination, it's a journey. And by taking control of your subscriptions, you're taking a powerful step in the right direction. 
So, what are you waiting for? Start auditing your subscriptions today, and let's unlock a world of financial possibilities together.